Hi, welcome to Working Mom Village. And today we are going to be doing some more food prep because nothing says get healthy like being out on a river and we don't know what happened but my face is bumpy and I broke out and it was awful and I probably had an allergic reaction which immediately means all my friends and I are now going to have to eat healthy. So Yay. one of the easiest ways to do that is with shakes that you just pull out of the freezer. So today we're going to be explaining what we do with our shake packs and how to make them. So we have a variety of different kinds of foods here. What's great about shakes is you can kind of put whatever you have on hand in it. So um, what we have here is kind of some spinach and some berry blends. Honestly, kind of clearing out my freezer at the same time, which is again, another awesome thing to be able to do. Use up all that fruit that you like bought that you thought you were gonna use and then you never did, so. And speaking of freezers, um, when you have the bananas that are going brown. Oh, hello. Here's frozen brown bananas. They will taste lovely in a shake. You can do them for any shape, any little tiny pieces or big. Also, what we have here for those of you doing a keto diet or that need extra fat so that you don't feel like you're going to die from just having a shake, this is frozen coconut milk. It's full fat, organic, and you just put it in the ice cube trays and then, oh my goodness, we can drop it into a shake pack and you have something that will help keep everything cool and give you that little extra ump of fat if that's what you need for, like I said, keto or just, wow, that shake lasted 15 minutes. We do have a couple of different um, fillers here too. We've got some protein powders. This is a jar of Great Lakes Collagen. It's wonderful for your skin. Ooh, ah. And it's one of the cheapest per servings that I can find. If you want something that's more vegan, we do have the Vega Protein and Energy. energy courtesy of Costco um, and then we've got some various other things and what we're gonna do today is just smorgasbord you pick up your bag you label it and then you fill it with what you want when you walk out of here today you've got a whole bunch of different shake packs that make your morning or for me afternoon after I get home so much easier each of ours and then we're going to put sandwich bags full of the goodies in. Use a smaller bag. If you use the quart bag sometimes I get too much and then I don't drink it and I feel bad. We are putting in spinach. We're going to be making a cherry superfood shake. Spinach was the base of almost all of these. Recipes are linked in the description box below and as much as you think you'll need. I put a lot of cherries in here. Here's our superfood packet going in. They have wheat grass, but it's also gluten free. So you get the grass when it's very young and it doesn't have the gluten in it. We're putting Great Lakes collagen in here. Remember there's a link to that below. Now I put Swerve sweetener in because I really can't do sugar and Swerve is the best sweetener we've found. So the next one we're making is called chocolate covered bananas. So first you're going to take a frozen banana. You can either use a whole or a half. It really depends on how much smoothie that you're going to want. Then we add one scoop of that cocoa powder. Now keep in mind, this is not like a hot chocolate mix, so you don't want to use a whole lot of it. Otherwise, it'll make it kind of bitter. Again, we're adding some of that Great Lakes collagen, great for skin. And that is it. So this was really geared towards our boys. Obviously, they're probably not going to eat a whole lot of the greens and all of that. They'd probably prefer something a little simpler. Okay, so chocolate raspberry, and here we are again starting with the spinach because for the adults, we want some greens. Then put as much of the fruit in as you feel like it needs. We put a lot of raspberries into these because raspberry has kind of a fainter, more delicate flavor, so put a lot in. It's cocoa powder, not hot chocolate mix, like we said. Put in a little bit, get all the air out, and there you have it. Next we have berry blend. So again, we're starting with that spinach base. You can add as much or as little as you'd like. I added a cube of that coconut milk that will help, you know, give it a little kick of fat and maybe stick with you a little bit longer. Now I'm adding whole strawberries. This is fresh strawberries as well. They don't have to be frozen. That's just what we had on hand. I'm adding some of the Vega powder. So it's going to give it a little bit of a coffee kick. So it's almost kind of like a mocha as well. Just one scoop of that. 
We have chocolate covered strawberry, pretty straightforward. Again, we're gonna start with that spinach base. We're gonna add some strawberries to it, and then again, that cocoa powder. What I've been doing when I've been making these is I actually froze them. So I take them out of the freezer, I throw it all into my blender, and then I add some coconut milk. I just have like an unsweetened coconut milk. And then I also add some honey to give a little bit of that sweetness. Again, we don't have a whole lot of sugar in it. We were trying to be mindful of that. I also added some cinnamon to some of them, and that really helped with the sweetness as well and gave it a little bit of a different twist. On to our next one, there's our spinach base for berry baobab. The baobab tree has these weird little fruits that I found a package of dried and made into a powder. They are so nutrient dense. So it's a very good thing. It adds a little bit of sweetness. When you're making these also, if it's just kind of bland and you've added everything you possibly can, put some salt in them. We discuss salted caramel. So when you're making it, if it doesn't taste right, put a little salt on it and stir it up again. Next we have banana berry. Again, pretty straightforward. Start with that spinach base. We're going to add some frozen mixed berries. We're gonna add a banana. It depends on how much banana flavor you want as to how much banana you added. I think I added about a half of a banana. And then again, some of that Great Lakes collagen that's gonna make your skin look oh so very good. Remember, we're gonna have the recipes down below, but recipes are not set in stone. These are ideas. Please use what's in your freezer. All right, we have a cherry blueberry. Now, straightforward once again, start with whatever your green base is. We use spinach, put your berries into this, Put in some kind of a protein powder because that will make it stick with you longer. If you need an extra kick, put some kind of a fat in. You can also use avocados. We didn't do that in this one, but you could. So the protein mixes, make sure it's something that is going to mix well with all of the berries. If you've ever used a protein in the past that didn't do well, you know what I'm talking about. Next one we have is mocha berry two ways. So the first thing we're going to do is again add that spinach base. We're going to add our berry blend and then we added that Vika protein which has a little bit of a coffee flavor to it. So it'll give it a little bit of a mocha taste. Um, another option that you could do with these is you could also make them nut free. So like I said, I use almond milk but you could always use soy milk or something like that. Yes. That avocado is probably going to be your best bet for that extra kick of fat. Oops, all berries. If you do one with all berries and then you put your protein powder and maybe your coconut in, that's fine too. The next one we have is cherry mocha. So again, we're starting with that spinach base. We're gonna add some cherries and then again, that coffee flavoring. What's really nice about this is that we took very few ingredients and we're able to make a whole bunch of different combinations. I think we have something like 11 combinations here, but you could have done anything that you wanted. We also were able to get this completed in one hour. So we ended up with about like 40 bags of these and we got that done in an hour. So that's 40 potential breakfasts, 40 snacks, 40 after workout kicks, whatever you wanna call it in a very short period of time, which again brings us home to the whole working together. We were able to get that many done because it was two of us sharing the work, being able to be more efficient about it. Label each individual one, make sure you get all the air out, put them in a bigger freezer proof bag, and then all you have to do is pull one out at a time. We hope that we have inspired you guys and helped you with some ideas on how you can make a really quick, easy, and healthy breakfast for yourself and your family. Or these can be late lunch snacks. I usually use them after I get home from work because I'm toast and I need a quick pick-me-up so that I can make dinner without killing the children. Three o'clock slump, something like that, that works great. Um, we'll have all kinds of recipes and all of the items that we use linked down below, so if you have any questions, it'll all be down there. Um, please like and subscribe if you liked our content. Again, we're all about moms helping mom, women helping women, um, trying to support the working mom life because it is a hard life. It's hard, we're there for you, and you guys need to be there for each other, and that's what we're here to show you. So we encourage you to go out and make your own village.